Tucson native Ryan Matias took his love of rugby to an international stage last weekend in Washington, D.C., playing for the U.S. national team in the inaugural 1874 Cup against New Zealand's famed All Blacks. The final score wasn't close, but fans did not leave disappointed, as Cronkite News reporter Simon Williams tells us from our Washington Bureau. Around 40,000 people came to the home of the NFL's Washington football team to see the best ruggers in the U.S. play the best in the world. And the top-ranked All Blacks lived up to the hype, trouncing the USA Eagles 104-14 on Saturday. U.S. Eagle Ryan Matias knew it would be tough going in. Uh, one of our coaches says, you know, you can't cover every blade of grass. You just, you can't. Something's got to be open. So, mm -hmm. um, and they're very good at identifying and communicating where that space is and attacking it. The former University of Arizona standout started the Come second on. half with a score. Matias on that far side. Cool. It was just the second Eagles try score. against the All Blacks in the history of the matchup. Fans from around the globe looked past the lopsided score to enjoy the festive environment. Andrea Davenport of Mesa, who came with club rugby teammates, got into the Halloween spirit and dressed as Mario characters. Hey, what's this all about? They see the fun in rugby and maybe they want to get their kids involved. Maybe they want to, you know, and then we give back in that same, that same token. So it's just about getting the general public involved and like loving the game. But the day was especially meaningful for Ryan's dad, who got to see him suit up against the mighty All Blacks. The match ends the U.S. international season, but if you're around Tucson, you might see Matias working with the Tucson Rugby Club. In Landover, Simon Williams, Cronkite News. Organizers of the 1874 Cup hope it spurs U.S. interests in the game and in Major League Rugby, but they also hope it helps the U.S. land the Men's Rugby World Cup in 2027 or 2031, or the Women's in 2029. And they say Glendale is one of the cities that could be in their bid.